Hello everyone, my name is Laserjet and welcome back to Train Sim World 4 and today we are on the East Coast Main Line and um, we're just outside Doncaster and yet again we're going to be looking at some high speed electric trains because there were one or two, maybe more, that I did uh, miss out and oh I just got some uh, points by walking five miles, getting lots of points today. And as I'm setting all these trains up, you are going to click subscribe. Yes, you are. Because we're just about to hit 103,000 subscribers. So you haven't subscribed yet? Why not subscribe now? It's just a click of a button. Yeah. <laughs> So, going into my collection, I think the first thing we need to spawn down is a classic class 801. We'll have an empty and we'll have, uh, we'll have nine coaches. Why not? So, we'll spawn you down see if you're going to fit. There you go. Now, the reason why uh, I'm doing this on the East Coast Main Line, uh, simple reason, uh, the training centre isn't big enough. The sidings are too short and the electric trains are too long. So uh, I thought uh, just outside Doncaster on the East Coast Main Line would be a good idea. And in fact, I'm going to move the Class 801 and spawn it here instead. There you go. That looks that looks a bit better, doesn't it? So we've got all this space. Actually, I could move it again. Actually, I don't like it there. Let's have it... Let's not have it here. Yeah, why, why not have it here? That's better, so it's out of the way. Oh, and uh, in my last video, uh, the microphone quality, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, was very low and very poor. And every time I tried to speak, it, it kept cutting out or, uh, or kept uh, lowering my voice. So I think I've now fixed my microphone problem. Still having a bit of computer issues. I uh, fitted a new cooling system in. But I've got even more uh, rubbish news. The cooling system doesn't fit in my computer. I've actually got a picture to show you guys that um, this is what my computer... Uh, this is the state of my computer right now. So I've just ordered a new, compu a new uh, computer case. Uh, hopefully that will arrive today. And uh, I have been uh, filming uh, this uh, really annoying problem. But I have got a video uh, me explaining... Well, I I'm going to be uploading a video of me explaining and talking you through of what I've done to actually finally get this computer working but right now it's just in pieces and that and the whole cooling system is just cable tied to the front it's just a temporary bodge job but um but rest assured i have a new computer case uh, arriving today and then hopefully um we'll put it all back together again and my computer will look amazing Right, time to spawn the other high-speed electric train from Great Britain because I, I did miss this one out uh, in the last video. So I think it was a class 395, I think that's what it's called. And we'll spawn empty with, I think this is um, a single, not a double. There we go. Hey, see, that looks nice, doesn't it? I've got to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the class 395s. But anyway, now that we've got Great Britain, next is Germany. Now, if you remember, we had the DBBR406. Uh, we want a single, so we'll just have the uh, eight coaches. So we'll spawn you there. Hopefully, it's in the right place. Uh, oh, it's a little bit too forward. Uh, let's move it back just a little bit. Is that going to fit? Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that'll be fine. It was actually quite nice seeing all three of these, like, lined up like this. It, it does look pretty cool. And then the other high-speed German electric train that I missed out was, I think, was a DBBR 400, I think. We'll spawn in the, uh, the, the, the 11 car one. There we go. See if that will fit. Is it going to spawn in? Uh, yeah. Oh, is it? Is it? No, that's, that's, I think that's all right. That, that's, that's, that's okay. I think that's in line. It's a lot more wider than the others, but like, you know, it's it's fine. Actually, I might move it back just a little bit. It, do, it, it does look pretty far off. There you go. That's a, that's a bit better. So now it's uh, so it's not too far forward. So there you go. Already that's looking awesome, but it's not over yet. I think we need to spawn in, uh, which I think is one of the best high-speed electric trains in the world. The TGV. Yes. We'll have that one uh, empty and we'll spawn you here. Is it going to fit? 
Yeah, that's going to fit. Excellent. Although, I could maybe have all of them spawning on here. Nah, I like it where they are. Now, unfortunately, I think this is the only French uh, high-speed LX train uh, I've got. Come to think of it, I think this might be the only French train in Train Sim World, I think. And then last and certainly not least for Team America, uh, Sala, I can never spell it properly, I always have to think about it. Sala Express, we'll have the empty one, and we'll spawn you right next to the TGV. There we go, we'll spawn it right there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six high-speed electric trains. Ooh. So we've got two from Great Britain, two from Germany. Ugh, oh, steam's going off. Um, yeah, we've got two from Britain, two from Germany, one from France, and one from America. Who is it that's messaging me? Oh, it's my twin brother. Oh, he's playing Train Sim World as well. Ha! <laughs> I think he's just asking me for some tips. Oh, and I think the uh, Acela Express is beeping again. Why are you beeping? It's always the American trains that beep at me. Oh, let me just um, climb up. Oh, a little steam going off. Go away, everything and everyone. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, I'm a busy boy today. I mean, oh, dark. Shut up. I'm working. <laughs> Yes, as I was saying, uh, I'm a busy boy today. Uh, I've got the Acela Express beeping at me. I've got my twin brother asking me for uh, train sim world advice. But yes, back to business. The uh, high-speed electric trains that I missed out in my last video was the class 395, which I'm not a big fan of, and the DBBR, uh, whatever this is, a 4... Hold on, let me look on the side. I don't know what this is. is it, I think it's a 401. A DBBR 401, if, if that's what that is, then... I have it now. But now that we've got all these high-speed electric trains all lined up, it kind of makes me feel like, how cool would it be if we had something from Japan? Like maybe a Japanese bullet train. It would be, no be nice to have something from Japan, you know. I mean, now that we have something from America, from France, uh, two from Germany and two from Great Britain, it would be nice to get some, some more... High-speed electric, tra electric trains from around the world. I can't even say that properly. But um, but again, I would like to have some uh, some newer uh, high-speed electric trains from Great Britain, like the Class 390, or um, what else would be a good one? A Class 91, or even the original Eurostar. I know I keep nagging and begging, but those are the high-speed electric trains I really want to see. I mean, don't get me wrong, all of these, okay, look amazing in this game. But... We need more. But I guess I'm one of those people who um, just keep wanting new things. But I guess I just have to be patient. But um, but what would you guys like to see for future uh, Train Sim World High Speed Electric Train uh, DLCs? What, what would you like? Um, I think a Class 390 would look amazing. Uh, a Class 91 or a Japanese Bullet Train or a Eurostar. Like, or, or even the older TGVs. That, that, that might be an idea. Or maybe... This might not be a, uh, a high-speed electric train, but I do know a high-speed electric locomotive that I would like. And it belongs in the Acela family. I would like to see the Amtrak Acela HHP8. Now, that would look amazing in this game. But, like, you know, that's, that's just my opinion. But out of all of these, I still think that the TGV is the best. And I think the Amtrak as Seller Express, probably my second favourite. And the third favourite, probably the Class 801. Probably this ICE, and then this ICE, and the Class uh, 35... No, what was it? The Class... Yeah, 395, sorry. 395. Yeah, the Class 395 is uh, the, the my least favourite out of the group. Like... Not, not a big fan of these. But a lot of people are. They'll probably look at this video and say, Oliver, what are you talking about? This is a brilliant high-speed electric train. Well, you know, again, that's... this. Is, you should never take the, my videos personally. Because like, I, I, it's not my professional opinion. Because I don't have a, per, a professional opinion. It's just my train nerd opinion i'm just not i just don't like really like these uh high-speed electric trains that much but a lot of people do like them and like you know i respect their opinion i mean like you know again i'm not a professional but if you guys want to leave your opinion in the comment section down below out of these guys uh which is the best and also if you have any ideas of what you want to see for future dlcs um put your answer in the comment section down below as well so i'll, so, so, so I'll sure to read it because it's nice to get other people's feedback and like hear other pe people's opinion and see what they think and just hear what they have to say and like you know hear what you guys w would like to see uh for train sim world uh content and i can hear a plane flying over past but i can't actually see one 
I think it's just the sound effects. But I'm going to end the video for today. I know it's qu quite of a short one, but like, you know, it's nice to not be driving trains all the time and actually just standing here looking at all these amazing um, high-speed electric trains. They, 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 they do look amazing when they're all together. It's like, it kind of reminds me of my old... Uh, uh, train racing videos if you guys know what I mean, but make sure you click that subscribe button follow me on my Twitter and Instagram You don't have to but the links are in the description if you want to buy some laser If you want to buy some laser jet merch got there in the end uh, link to my merch website is in the description below of this video But thank you all so much for watching have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one